the world of watches is a funny place because if you look at fashion clothing for example even cars and other design objects a lot of designs always need to bring something new something fresh to the table but the watch world actually really loves the old design the history the heritage of watches Benros watches is an American watch brand established back in the days in 1921. They are bringing back a famous watch from their collection and I got the pleasure today of reviewing this watch. So let's have a closer look at the Benros Orbit Robot Skin Diver. Before me I have the watch in this nice Pelican watertight box, a small tough box really befitting to this watch. Inside we find the watch and here we have the Benros Orbit Robot. So the name is actually a really good name for this watch, but it was given back in 1972 when the Orbit Robot from Benros was originally released. This was a futuristic, spacey UFO-like skin diver. And this is the remake of this old skin diver watch. My first thought when I saw this watch was actually that it kind of looks very 70s. That's of course because it's from the 1970s, the layout, the design, but also that this watch kind of reminds me of an UFO. So this beautifully domed sapphire crystal, this really nice cushion shaped case, and this extremely 70s colors with the orange and the fumé style gray dial with the sunburst effect as you see and the hour markings, these rectangular hour markings filled with loom. Everything just really screams 70s. And from this angle and this angle, this actually does look like a watch from space. It is of course not a watch from space. It is an original dive watch design from Benros. Benros, an American brand established in 1921, as I mentioned earlier in New York City by the Lazarus brothers. A lot of things has happened in the history of Benros watches. Most famously, they made the Type 1 and the Type 2 military watches. These watches, these designs of these watches are watches that a lot of other brands have actually been copying, been homaging, been inspired a lot from. And the Orbit Robot is much more of a very nice utilitarian dive watch, but with a lot of appeal for everyday use as well. It is an automatic watch. It is powered by the Soprot P024 Swiss automatic movement. This is a movement with 38 hours of power reserve, a beat rate of 28,800 vibrations power. As you see on your screen now, I get pretty nice accuracy. I get approximately plus nine seconds per day. But a really good thing about this movement, which shows that it's a very healthy movement, is I get a 326 amplitude, meaning this is a very nice and healthy movement. The movement has manual winding, hacking, and a quick set date function. This is a movement that is very comparable to the Salita SW200 or the ETA 2824 movement. So the watch has some really nice dimensions. It's 41.2 millimeters in diameter. Because of the cushion shaped case, which is a really cool design, also used a lot by Seiko, you only get 44 millimeters lock tip to lock tip, but you do get a little bit of overhang from the bracelet, but it wears very slim and compact on the wrist. Then you get 12.9 millimeters in thickness, including this beautifully UFO style rounded domed sapphire crystal. I really like the dome of the sapphire crystal. It's one of the highlights of the watch for me. You get 20 millimeter lock width here and the bracelet it tapers down to 18 millimeters. You see it's a five link bracelet with the outer parts, the larger parts brushed, polished center links all the way down to the clasp here, which is a very solid clasp with three micro adjustments. It's a click, but also two push button release clasp. And let's just look at this super cool case back here. You see here 200 meters of water resistance, sapphire crystal. You see the orbit robot around the globe. Really, really cool case back. Really funny and very cool case back in my opinion. Screw down case back. You also see we get easy removal spring bar so you can easily change to another strap. 
The case has a very nice brushing as well as the crown, and then you get the polished surfaces on the side of the bracelet and the center links as I showed you. I really like this Fumé style gray dial, and I really like that Benros they kept down the printing, the writing on the dial, so it just says Benros below 12 o'clock, Orbit Robot above 6 o'clock, and then Swiss Mate. It is an American watch, but it's Swiss Mate. Then you get this nice brushed bezel here. The interesting thing is that this is a friction based bezel and not a click bezel. Very reminiscent and very vintage and I really like that they kept this. It doesn't feel like a Vostok for example where it's very loose. You have the right amount of resistance so I'm not in any way concerned that this will move if you actually use this watch for diving. So another really nice detail is the orange hands. I really like the contrast between the orange hands and this Fumé style grey dial. You see the dial is lighter towards the center and darker towards the outer edge of the dial. And another really cool feature is these extremely 70s inspired polished hour markings which are filled with loom. Then you get a date window at 3 o'clock. So let's just have a look at the loom. This is BTW9 Swiss Super Luminova, and I'm super happy with the loom. This is exactly what you want. This ice blue loom on the hands and the hour markings, and green loom at the dot or the loom filled triangle on the bezel. The watch is priced at 995 US dollars. I think that's a pretty fair price for a watch from a famous company. Really nicely made, really nice finishing, nice materials they used. If you use the discount code I'm providing down in the description, you can get some percentages off or can sign up for a newsletter, Benros's newsletter, and then you will automatically get 10% off. You get two years of warranty. Again, you can use the discount code down in the description if you want to buy this watch. If you buy this watch, some percentages will go to this channel. Still, I'm giving you a fair and honest review. I did remove a few links from the bracelet, but let's just have a look at the weight. So 140 grams approximately. On my 17.5 centimeter wrist circumference, you can see I can easily pull off this Benros Orbit Robot Skin Diver. It feels really nice to the wrist. The bracelet is super comfortable. It really just forms towards the skin and your wrist. It's not top heavy and the cushion shape case really just hugs the wrist. Also on the thickness, it wears really nice. And again, I really enjoy this UFO domed sapphire crystal. So all in all, I must say this is a really nice quality watch. One thing I want to say is that I do think that the crown, which is a screw down crown and it is signed, it feels a little bit sharp. It's like the finishing on the crown just isn't as good as the finishing on the rest of the watch. The crown, it does measure six millimeters in diameter, very easy to grip but it just is a bit sharp in its finishing. So that is maybe something Benros could do a little bit better in the future. Also the bracelet, it is comfortable. It's a bit of an annoyance to actually adjust because it's push pins. And I know this bracelet isn't something that everybody wants to enjoy. Also putting in the polished center links towards a watch and a bracelet, which is actually essentially brushed, is something that they should maybe have kept out. Just brush everything because this is a vintage inspired tool watch. Overall, I think this is a really fun quality watch and definitely a watch if you're into vintage inspired watches, into heritage watches you should look into. This watch was sent to me from Benros and I do get to keep the watch, full disclosure. So I hope you enjoyed the full review of the Benros Orbit Robot, the remake of a 1972 watch from this American company, Swiss Made Watch. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to visit Ben Ross's website. I'm leaving the link down in the description. If you're Danish, you can read a review on my Danish website, timeandcrown.dk. Also, don't forget to join Danske Urtosser on Facebook if you're Danish. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Danske Urtosser. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.